Is somebody gonna be there? Or show them to the bathroom. That's weird, the bathroom door's locked. Where do you go? <laughs> Floor number five must be one of them spooky spots. One spot where you're like, yo, don't go in there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Container conversation. Of course, of course. I'm so sorry. So, yep, I know. You're speechless because you never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all, take it all in. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone, look around you. I have all the company I've ever needed. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from that sometime, I suppose. I don't know if I'll that. Okay. That's about it, huh? Okay. And then, then I think that's when we go back to Pops. And say, yo, we did our thing. Back to... No. Can I push this? You, me, everything. No one's home. Hey, I don't think I saw you. Hey. Oh my, sorry. You just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? Mm-hmm. With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So, if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask me, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Hey, Sal, what's up? Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, how long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on a call 24-7 for any urgent maintain maintenance needed. Despite what you may hear from others, this is this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on for 10 years now. Even though there's been a murder? Um... What do others say about this? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This one is well over a hundred years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll, but you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't, you can't sweep the small stuff, Sal. There's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in life. Put your energy into that. You betcha. Hmm. Yeah, what happened for three? It's a shame. You and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Mrs. Sanderson. Mr. S Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. That's not to set your mind on such a dreadful thing. But I want to set my mind to know what happened. Um, is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along. He's downstairs in, the, in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. 
you'll need a key card to access one elevator. Here's here, take this one. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? So sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison apartment for a long time, and I've never seen a ghost or a goblin. That's just people overreacting imaginations. No, because I saw it upstairs at five. Five oh, I forgot five oh one or something. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Okay. See you, Brown. Now, Sandra, I saw something. Now, why is your son in the basement? Vending machine, lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry though. Oh. Oh. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this nut. Down where the chemical spill. Mm. Open, 1B. So this must be her her parents and that must be Sandra and her son. The son, they eat pizza. Pizza and soda. Larry's room. It's locked. Of course her room's gonna be locked. Uh what the hell was that? No lie, that kind of scared me. All right, let's leave it at that, and let's talk to Larry. What's up, Larry? Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Well, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh yeah, it's a prosthetic. Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool, I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally. Face. I just moved here from my I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally face. I guess I didn't really have any decent friends to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Huh. <laughs> That's what your mom said too. Mother knows best. Yeah, right, right. So, why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we got to guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she just, she gets this f f um, room rent free from the maintenance gig. It's cool though. I don't mind. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah. It's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I don't have my own clothing line, so. Uh, it's actually for this metal band called Saint Saintony Saint Sainty Falls Sainty's Falls. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, uh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. <laughs> Man. 
Yeah, this is some scary shit. What happened? Oh, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with the clogged toilet. And I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in yelling like a lunatic. I know that you've got... I know... Oh, my bad. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know what you've done. Karen told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen for it by fear, man. Just picking through the cracks in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints of anything. Should you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to the detective, but he wouldn't listen to me without some kind of evidence, like my word isn't enough. Wow. So, uh, what's up with the guy? And so wait, you said it's all different. What two or three? He said two or three, two or three, two or three. Okay, I had to put that in my head. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Um, Addison. He's owned this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talking through his little mouse lock. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, please and thank you. To him, he'll give you a cup of famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. It's alcohol. It's giving him alcohol. Hmm. What's this thing? That's a it's a police a, a scanner. Scanner. That 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 scanner. I can listen in local um, cop channel. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak to four or three. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show the detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign up, sign me up for a break-in. Well, I gotta make some kind of call in. I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for that. Been wanting to peek in there for a peek in there, man. Sweet. So, what's the plan? I'll call in the bank robbery hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing they'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make this minute count. We can use my walkie-talkie to communicate during uh, the whole thing. Then, I can give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery from armed robbery at this, at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Mm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press shift button here to call me. Okay, I'm in my room. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, son, I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it's work. Head to 403 now. Let's go in. Holy sh... There's a bunch of broken coffee tables with some books. Looks like some anything important just looks like a bunch of junk to me. Alright, keep looking around. It's gotta be something. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's this little figure. It looks like one well, is missing. I can see a small clearing clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected these weird toys. They're nuts over these things. Mr. Sanderson got this super rare one and some or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her in the first place, offed her in the first place. That dude always did me, did give me the creeps. 
just something un unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live um, live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait. Excuse me. Excuse me about that. Why do I have to do that? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'll let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks. Fucking fatty. All right, all right. I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night over otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this ba um, baggie. You can slip the toy in and uh, without touching it. Why do I feel the? F why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. Here's another tea. Wonderful. So relaxing. So I can Yo friend, it's not working. Let me say this, is this place a haunted? What what not this again? Did um, Chuck put you up to this? No. I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chuck? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. Great idea, but that put him to sleep. It did, but only for, for a minute. Hmm. If only we could make it stronger somehow. You can't miss him, he's a big kid. Oh, hey. What's up? Do you need any help? Why are you poking fun at me from not being in the same place? I like to be, um, thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I feel trapped. I fall off the track sometimes. That's cool. I'm just the same way. I can tell you're the creative type. Like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't be bothering you with the stuff. Listen. <laughs>